cuties welcome back to my channel so in today's video I wanted to share three higher car breakfasts that I have once in a while even following a lower carb diet to lose weight so I hope you stick around here is breakfast number one and this is probably the higher maybe the highest carb breakfast now I only have this probably once a month maybe um, it is something I enjoy, but I am more on the savory side as far as breakfast. So I don't often have sweet things for breakfast. Um, but when I do want oats, this is how I make it. I have tried other ways. Sometimes I add chopped apples to it, some cinnamon. Oh yeah, I got to get the cinnamon out. <laughs> um, sometimes I've done bananas just like chopped bananas um, mixed in the, the oats, but this is actually my most favorite way, and this I would call a maple pecan oatmeal. <laughs> so this is what the ingredients look like. I am gonna get some cinnamon out, just a little sprinkle. So let me show you what I have. I have some chia seeds. I always, always, always add chia seeds to my oatmeal. And over here are some chopped pecans and of course the oats. Those are old fashioned oats from Quaker. I never use the instant ones or the quick cooking ones. I always use the old fashioned, which they only take five minutes anyway, but they are quick cooking. <laughs> and over here, I'm gonna use some almond milk. And I believe this will give me a little bit of protein. Let's see. Well, one gram, <laughs> but that's okay. It's only 30 calories for a cup. And I like the taste of that. I Sometimes I used to use regular milk or like skim milk, and it's kind of a weird, um, I don't know if you want to say a consistency, but I didn't like it. So then I went to water, and if I have the almond breeze, I'll use that. Otherwise, I just use water. It's fine. So over here is some sugar-free maple syrup. Now this is not the health healthiest thing in the world. I use just a little bit, about an eighth of a cup, and it sweetens my oatmeal. Um, but if you wanna use real maple syrup, that would be really tasty. But in today's, I'm just gonna use this. So let me swing over to show you how I cook it. One cup of almond milk. So I'm gonna turn the heat on. Um, I'm gonna start with medium until it comes to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, really watch this closely because when you use milk, it can boil over pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna heat this up until it comes to a boil. Then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so you can see my milk's coming to a low boil. Again, I don't want it to boil over. That's happened to me so many times. <laughs> So now I'm going to add half a cup of the oats. We're just going to pour those in and give it a quick stir. There we go. And just a pinch of salt. So we're going to let this go for about five minutes. I think I'm going to turn it down to low again so it doesn't boil over or one notch above low i don't want it to go too hard so i'm going to set the timer for five minutes okay so my oats have been cooking for five minutes now i just want to give you a little tip and this is what works for me i kind of stand by the stove for the five minutes it's cooking and i'll kind of increase the heat a little bit or decrease it just so it doesn't boil over, but it's still cooking. So I'm gonna turn the fire off. I'm gonna add one, I'm sorry, half a tablespoon of chia seeds. And we're just gonna sprinkle those on. And then a sprinkle of some cinnamon. I like cinnamon and oatmeal, no matter what flavor I do, pretty much. <laughs> so there we go. I'm gonna stir this up and I'll show you what I do next. Again, I don't know if everybody does it this way. It's the way I like it. So you can see there's still a lot of liquid, the milk, but that's okay. 
And I do, let me just say this, <laughs> I do enjoy my oatmeal a little more on the looser side. If you don't, of course, you should cook it longer or use less milk, that would help. So I'm gonna pop a lid on this and then I'm going to set my timer for five minutes and we're gonna let this sit on the heat with no flame, of course, and I'll show you what it looks like. So you heard the timer, my oatmeal is ready. Just gonna stir it up a little bit and you could see most of the milk evaporated and I like that so it has a little bit of sort of, I don't know, <laughs> not stiff and gooey oatmeal. So there we go. I'm gonna put it in a bowl and show you what it looks like. Okay, here's what my oatmeal looks like. I added the syrup already and I'm going to add the pecans. This is a lot of pecans, um, but I have plenty of calories left, so I am gonna enjoy that. I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this. I just wanted to share with you the kind of stats on this. Um, so if, including my Celsius, which is 10 calories, this breakfast is 29 grams of carbs, which is pretty high and 9.3 grams of protein. Now, I just wanna say that, like I mentioned earlier, I don't eat this every week, maybe once a month, maybe twice at the most. I like to stick under 100 carbs per day. That's what's most comfortable for me. I do kinda of stay under sometimes, most days, but I know that I can go up to 100. I don't get crazy about it, I just kinda, of try to stick to around that many. And I am losing weight doing that. So let me just mention too, I try to get about 120 to 140 grams of protein, which is not always easy. Now I was gonna add some collagen to this, which would increase the protein, but I kind of just wanted to share with you guys what my basic recipe was. So I am going to enjoy this. <laughs> And stick around for breakfast number two. Here's breakfast number two. And this is actually going to turn out to be higher carbs than breakfast number one. But I've been dying to try this breakfast. And just like I said about breakfast number one, I don't eat this every day or every week. Um, I've actually never made this breakfast, but just because I'm following a lower carb diet doesn't mean once in a while I can't have some higher carb uh, meals. And this is still a very healthy meal. So even though it's higher in carbs, doesn't mean it's unhealthy. So I just wanted to kind of go over what I have here. So this is the Dave's Killer Bread. If you've ever had it, um, it's delicious. This one's the 70 calorie one. And the slices are a pr pretty decent size, not too thin. So we'll toast that up. I'm gonna have two pieces today. And then of course I have my regatta cheese, which is part of what we're gonna have. This is high in protein, of course. Um, and we're just doing a quarter of a cup of that today. Then just a little bit of honey. We're gonna do, I think it's a teaspoon. I have to see how much that looks like. And then over here are the figs. And I got these from Trader Joe's, as you can see. And of course, they're high in carbs. They're dried fruit. But I think the combination of the regatta cheese and the figs is gonna just be delicious. Okay, so we're just gonna put this together. So I toasted my two pieces of the Dave's Killer Bread. Just kind of lightly toasted it. And next, I am going to put on my quarter of a cup of regatta cheese and I'm going to kind of put it on both sides as evenly as possible, obviously. Doesn't have to be perfect. I think that's good. And I love regatta cheese. I don't even need it that sweet. Um, I just think that, let's put a little more on that. Um, I just think it would be a good, really good combination with the figs and honey. So let me just, whoops, what a mess. Let me just spread this a little bit. 
more evenly. Okay, this isn't looking as cute as I thought, <laughs> but we're gonna go for it. There we go. Eh, not the prettiest. You know, you sometimes have things in your mind, like a picture of what it's gonna look like. This is not what I thought, but we're gonna go with it, it's okay. I think it's still gonna taste delicious. And you can see there is a good amount of ricotta cheese on each slice, so I think it'll be good. Let me just move this, yum. Let me just move that out of the way. And next we're gonna cut up the figs and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so here are the figs. So again, these are dried figs. They don't look the prettiest, I know, <laughs> but they're gonna just taste so good. So three is a serving, so I am gonna have the three. So let me kind of slice these up a little bit. Yeah, look at the inside of this. I mean, it just looks so pretty. So I guess four slices of each would be good. I may have to, yeah, let me slice this one a little bit smaller. And I am using a serrated knife because these figs are sticky, as you can tell. Um, so the serrated knife just goes right through them pretty easily. But, yeah. Let me just arrange these kind of in a nice pattern, I think, as best I can get. Uh, I guess it won't look as pretty as it kind of had in my mind, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. And some of these pieces are a little bit bigger. Again, that's okay. They're obviously measured before I spread them on each slice, so they don't have to be perfect. But yeah, there we go. Next, I'm going to spread on the honey. This is kind of a special honey. Um, it just happens to be what I have, and I think it'll be easy to measure out. I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of honey on each slice. I don't think the honey is going to really drizzle, so I took a half a teaspoon. I'm gonna do a full teaspoon and put it in this glass bowl, and I'm gonna just microwave it like for just a couple seconds. Um, it's kind of hard. This is like the smallest amount of honey that you can possibly put in this bigger bowl, but that's okay. Again, it's going to work. I just want to get an idea of what a teaspoon would be, but yeah, kind of messy and it's okay. It's okay. Usually I spray the container that I'm measuring in before I put the honey in, but I didn't. Okay, so I melted the honey in the microwave just for about 10 seconds. And now I'm gonna pour it over. I'm gonna try to put as much as possible on each, <laughs> as evenly as possible. I think it's gonna be delicious. This honey smells good just from heating it up in the microwave. So yeah, I think it looks delicious. Look at this masterpiece. I think it looks delicious. I can't wait to try it. And I am going to also make myself a protein coffee. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm gonna try this new coffee I found. It's the Cinnamon Dolce K-Cup from Starbucks. And I'm gonna add some protein powder and just two splashes of the Chobani creamer. I wish you could smell this coffee. It smells so good. If you like cinnamon, you definitely have to try it. Okay, so let's add two scoops of the collagen. I'll show you what that looks like. I think I've shown it before, but this is the one I use. 18 grams of protein. And it's supposed to be good for your hair and all that, your skin and all that good stuff. So I just let that melt, it melts pretty much right in. And then I'm gonna add, I kind of just eyeball this, I really should measure, but I don't. Um, two tablespoons or so, stir it up. And 
it's going to be delicious with this sweet cream, the Chobani, and the cinnamon. Oh my goodness. It smells absolutely delicious. It's going to go nicely with my fig and regatta. Okay, so look at this finished breakfast. I can't wait to eat it. I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. I just wanted to give you the protein count and the carb count. The carb count is scarily high. <laughs> it is 57.8 grams of carbs. So of course, that's almost everything <laughs> on this breakfast. The figs, the bread, the honey probably has some carbs, I guess. Um, and my coffee also. And 33 grams of protein, which I think is pretty good. And that's probably from the regatta and the protein or collagen powder. So I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. So stick around for breakfast number three. I just had to interject here. I took a bite. Oh my goodness. Absolutely delicious. The flavor of the honey and the figs together is just amazing. The cinnamon coffee. <laughs> absolutely amazing my only regret with this breakfast is it's too delicious really i have to really remember not to have it very often because of the carb count again it's still a healthy breakfast it's got whole grains it's got protein so i don't want to be afraid of it but i could see how i might want to have this more often so again, stick around for breakfast number three. Breakfast number three. So this is breakfast number three of the three breakfasts that I'm showing you that are a little higher in carbs than I normally eat, but I like to have them once in a while. They're still healthy. I count the proteins and carbs and calories, but they're just a little higher in the carb area. <laughs> so of course you can see I have eggs. I needed to up the protein since I'm having um, such high carbs. I like to at least have high protein too. So what I'm going to basically make, I'm going to show you, it's very easy. I'm going to have avocado toast, but on a hash brown patty. I'm going to have a little cutie on the side. I wish I had some tomatoes. That's normally what I put on my avocado toast, but unfortunately I don't have any today. So I'm just going to quickly show you how I put this together. Okay, so what I usually do after I cut my avocado, and it looks pretty good actually, is I just take a paper plate, I set it on my scale. Let me just move it up just a little. Put the plate on the scale, and I'm gonna weigh, actually I zero it out, sorry. <laughs> and I do it in grams. I just find it, I don't know, easier, I guess. It gets a more accurate measurement. So this is 55 grams, my avocado. I think that's a pretty good amount. Um, it's a little less than half of this bigger avocado. Don't always cut them evenly, but I will stick this in the fridge for another day. I'll put plastic wrap on the top so that it stays as nice as possible. If it gets a little brown, I just scrape off the top. It's usually just the top layer. So let me go to the next step. So the hardest part of this recipe, or the most time consuming, is actually baking the hash brown. This one cooks quite a long time. Um, it's 425 in my toaster oven since I'm only making one and it takes about 15 minutes then you flip it over and another 9 to 13 minutes. Um, <laughs> sometimes it's worth it to me, sometimes not so much and I don't want to make it. But this morning I'm in the mood for it and I wanted to show you guys how I make it. So I'm going to bake up the hash brown and I'll show you what comes next.
Okay, so while my eggs cook, I am just showing my hash brown. <laughs> Nicely cooked. Again, it, it just takes so long, but just be patient. It'll be worth it. Um, so I'm going to spread the avocado on it, but I'm going to show you. I want to use my everything bagel seasoning, and I just make some homemade. Um, it's really simple if you have all the ingredients. I make some for myself and for my mom and a couple other people. Really easy. So let me spread my avocado and I'll show you what that looks like. So you see that putting that cover on it just kind of cooked the top of the eggs, which is the way I like it. Hopefully there'll be runny yolks. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I get distracted, but, but they'll still be good. I like runny yolks. If you don't, of course, cook it a little bit longer. So let me just plate this all up and I'll show you what it looks like. I mean, I think it's a, it's just beautiful, a beautiful breakfast. Something a little different and like I said, high iron carbs, but that's okay. And so the total on this breakfast is 23 carbs. So that's pretty high for me. It's got 14.8 grams of protein. So we're good on the protein and 416 calories. So I am gonna sit down and enjoy this. Oh, and I also have a Celsius water and that doesn't add much as far as protein, but it's a good source of caffeine, which I'm gonna need today. So that's what I'm having to drink this morning instead of coffee. So I hope you enjoy this and I'm going to sit down and eat it. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. I hope you give it a try. I'm so happy the egg has runny yolk and it's going to be delicious all together. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on my next one.